guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mina here. Sorry I can't give you more welcoming intro because of this this today's outfit. It's like this, so yeah. So today I want to show you three DIYs that I did for this corner of my room. So my room is not that big and there's so many things going on right now and I only have this corner for myself to decorate and put some colorful stuff on here. So without further ado, let's get started. First project is an adorable pom-pom plant stand. So I wanted to add some color to my room and I saw this cute little brown chair for children on Carob Market for 5,000 Korean won, which is around 3 pounds. So Carob Market is like Depop, but people usually sell items they don't use anymore. So I bought this IKEA baby chair to use it as a plant stand. To make pom-pom rug, I prepared three different sizes cardboard pom-pom makers, but I ended up using these two on the right. Before I start wrapping yarn around pom-pom maker, I put about 7cm yarn in the middle, so after I finish wrapping, I can easily tie them in the middle and then I start the wrapping once you're satisfied tie in the middle three times and cut the wool at both ends and to make it rounder you need to give it a haircut and I'm telling you guys this will take most of your time just cutting all the extra yarn to make them round and even I ended up making 30 of them in different sizes and now it's time to design the rug. So this is the chair I bought from Carob Market. I use white tool fabric and cut it in round shape just enough to cover the top part. I'm going to make it like a cover with strings like the way dust bags work. So now I'm playing around with pom-poms and once I like the design, I took a photo of it and start sewing them with yellow yarn so I can match it with the color of the chair. And once I'm finished, I use the biggest needle I have to sew the yellow yarn around the rug so I can use it as strings to close the edge of the rug like a dust bag. I tied knots twice at the end of the string so they don't fall out of the holes and made a ribbon to close the edge. Then ta-da! You have your own pom-pom plant stand. So now that we have plant stand, we need a plant. I ordered fake plant with a plain pot from today's house. Today's house is a Korean app where you can buy interior stuff from posters to furniture. So back to the plant pot, I use gold acrylic paint and I paint small dashes all around it. I wanted to give more texture, so I squeeze the paint right out of the tube to the brush every time I make another dash. As you can see, I tried to make it more rough around the edges. Once they all dried up, I put stones and fake plant that came with plant pot. And there you have a very cute gold plant pot. Last project is this cute Rudolph plant pot. So I already told you that I ordered this fake plant with pot from today's house. But first they arrived with broken pot, so they sent me a new one. And I didn't want to throw away the broken one, so I decided to recycle it. First, I put the pieces together using glue gun. And once they all dried, I used this dark brown yarn and wrap around the pot until it's all covered. I used glue gun on the bottom edge and top edge of the pot so the yarn won't slip. I use glue gun and plastic sheet to make Rudolph horns. Once it's dried, cut and trim the edges and do the same for the other side. I give two or three coats on the top so the horns are thick enough to be a base structure. And I wrap it around with same brown yarn until it's all covered. Once you're happy with the horns, use glue gun to stick them on the side of the pot. And I also glue red pom-pom I already made for the nose. And I didn't have enough plant rocks, so I put some newspaper inside and then covered the rest using leftover rocks from the first project. And there you have your own Rudolph plant pot. I had so much fun DIYing these for the corner of my room, and now they are much, much more colorful than before. I probably need to buy another fake plant for this Rudolph after editing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me, and hit the notification button for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!